Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Daily Browsers. I am Mr. G, and I am so happy to have you browsing with us today. We are going to get straight to it. We are going to the city of Seattle, Washington, and today we are going to look at a high rise. We never looked at a high rise on this channel before. This will be our first time doing so. So we are going to 2201 Third Avenue, Unit 2206, Seattle, Washington. 98121, say two bedroom, two bath, square footage 853, and the seller is asking for $425,000. And we are going straight to the pictures. Hey, it's beautiful. I like the city, I like the city view. Sometimes I like the city traffic. I don't like to be in the traffic. I won't mind viewing the traffic on this beautiful balcony and the buildings and the nightlife that it has to offer during the night. All right, here we go. This is a great look on the exterior of this beautiful high rise. And I believe this would be the, not sure if it's a garage underneath, but we will find out hopefully for sure in the details, but it is sitting on the corner. So it is a corner unit. Great view of the city of Seattle. Washington, beautiful. Nice view of the main street there. Surrounding buildings. Nice size balcony. So lots of pictures of the city, guys. So view of the patio. Beautiful patio. Super duper natural lighting place. Oh, I like that chandelier. So hopefully this will be your um, sitting table where you eat a table. You have shelving on the back here. This would be view of your living space. Space from a different angle. All right, and we in the kitchen. It's a galley kitchen. Have your stove top there. Oven underneath, sink, frost on that, countertops on basically on both sides, cabinets on top and bottom. Like, like the left and right. <laughs> Not sure what type of flooring that is. You can find out during the detail. This is the view of your bathroom there. The commode there, sink there. Shower there, as far as your sink, kind of outdated. But this is like a walk in closet, have much, very much um, natural sunlight here to wake you up in the morning and get a view when you're trying to wind down at night, taking your work clothes really off. This is your bedroom here, tell by the light fixtures here. Or Nice view of the bedroom as well. This second bath here. So the cabinet is a little outdated for my taste. It may not be for your taste. But you do have your shelving above the commode and your big mirror there. Still can't tell what type of that's going throughout this whole apartment. So this would be the gym downstairs. Must be the community. Center, community. Yes, quite sure that. Open to all residents. Is your rooftop balcony? It's nice to have. Oh, right. An indoor swimming pool. Might be like a hot tub. Not a kitty. That's a cover. Steam room. Another view of the balcony. Quite sure this is like a yes. All right. Nice overall. Let's get to the details and, and find out more about this property.
condominium. It was built in 1979. The HOA fees is $1,086 a month. It's been on Zillow for 24 days now. 4,667 views with 135 saves. Enjoy Eastern View Sunrise and Territorial Views from the Space Needle to downtown Seattle from this bright end unit in the Grand View, prime location between Seattle Center and Pike Place Market places you in the heart of Seattle. Two bedrooms and 1.75 baths. I don't know what they mean by that. On the 22nd floor are ready for your inspiration. A little elbow grease will yield instant equity. Great building in the heart of Belton. Oof and newly refreshed indoor pool and hot tub, sauna, fitness room with new equipment. Wrap around that community room and a rentable in building guest suite for visitors. All inclusive HOA covers all utilities and recent assessments had been paid in full by seller. Includes a secure parking spot in the garage plus a storage unit. So, yes, that is the uh, garage on the bottom level of the building. All right, nice property overall. Like I said, this was our first time viewing the high rise. Not bad at all. You got the view of Seattle downtown. Can you ask for anything more? I don't believe so. So it's sitting at 400 and in the middle of downtown Seattle, Washington, 425. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. We are going to get to the next property. If you're interested in any of the listings that we are viewing or browsing, please contact the listing agent and they will lead you into further details. All right, we are off to the next one. All right, browsers, we are going from the high ride to the houseboat. <laughs> we are going to 2706 West Lake Avenue, in unit 76, Seattle, Washington, 98. 109 is a two bedroom, one bath, square footage 583. This is a houseboat. It's a single family residence built in 2010. And the, I would say the floating platform is 1,197 square foot. The seller is asking for 399,000 or it's an end slip houseboat, larger slip, stainless steel appliances. And we are from there, we are going straight to the pictures. And here we are, nice and bright, bringing in the beautiful water view. Just wanted to get the pictures bigger. There we go. Bringing in the natural sunlight and this great water view. That would be your living room area. You have enough for a couple of end tables. They got a recliner there and a chair there. I wouldn't say it's enough for like a full size couch, but okay, you got a little balcony there. A little loft, I will say, not balcony, a little loft there. Um, look like laminate floors. There's a little eating section right there. You have a single chair there. You have the bench there. That's nice to have. There's your staircase going to the right. Nice little uh, house boat. All right. Another view of your staircase. It looks like it's a bar to the right there. Not 100% sure. Another view. Leading out to the balcony. There's your kitchen. Gas stove. Oh, I ain't gas range. Your counter space cabinets, top and bottom on both sides. Refrigerator here, LED lights. Looks nice. Okay, another view from the kitchen from the different angle. All right, now we in the bathroom. There's your sink, mirror, light fixtures. And like a shelf above the commode, can't tell. 
with your showers, your bathtub is on the left hand side there. Small bathroom, but it's nice. It's well put together. I don't know what that is. The bedroom, have a window in your bedroom, and one of the bedrooms. This could be used as an office space. As the exterior of your boathouse, it's nice. I like it. Dead smack in the middle there between this, uh, what they call it, boat slip. I don't know what's spitting on the left there. But this is all the property right here. Nice. Got room on your deck for a picnic table. With an umbrella. It's nice. All right. We outside on the deck. We have the lower deck and the upper deck. Nice view. Can't escape from any views on this houseboat. I mean, everywhere you look, you have a nice view. All right, this is your another sitting area. That's a nice size. Big huge TV. Got windows on both sides. Nice recliner chair. All right, yeah, this must have been the uh, the loft area. Nice, it's nice overall. That's a big chest there. Okay, your computer table there. Window on top. Excuse me, one of the another bedroom here. Next to the diamond marina. We had a client that uh, bought a houseboat. They lived on it for about a year. They said they had liked it at first. Um, said it was expensive for the upkeep. I don't know too much about it. I'm just giving you the information that I heard. Y'all might need more uh, or might know more if you're interested in this property. If you never purchased a, a houseboat before. So I'm just telling you from what I heard and don't know how true it is. But they no longer own it. They moved. Actually, they moved to Texas, um, but they did purchase a houseboat right here, and I believe it's outside of Fort Mills, South Carolina. It was nice. I remember when a storm, the day we went to visit, those thunderstorm was coming in. You know, you felt it moving like that, so if you're used to that, you know, all day, every day, and sometime during the night, then, hey, that might be your cup of tea, but it's something to get used to. I guess once you get used to it, it's just like living anywhere else. All right. I believe uh, we are finished here, right? Am I right or wrong? Don't even know. Okay. It's been on Zillow for 43 days. Views. It had a lot of views. So a lot of people must be interested in the houseboat. 20,504 with almost 1,000 saved. 909 saves. Wow. This must have caught a lot of people's attention. Let's look at that detail. I'm fighting against the sun, so it's hard for me to see. Welcome home to Snug Haven, a rear end slip houseboat with even rear wraparound porch on the Burke Gilman Trail and steps from Fremont Bridge. Enjoy. Your direct view of gas works park, fireworks, and marina traffic, large and small, all from your living room. Home floats on heavenly reinforced triple platoon 552 by 18 base and lives like a full-size amenity. Home indoor, all new stainless appliances and AC just installed. Larger slip allows for in up to 19 inch accessory boat. Moorage includes W slash G, whatever that means. Site has laundry, fast internet, and free parking. LT rentals and pets are allowed. Liverboard slip not on DNR, FO, WR, and 856. That must be boat terms. I don't know. No idea. But overall, I like what I've seen. I like what I've seen. And getting back to the price, what was the price here? For this houseboat, 
$399,000. Two bedroom, one bath, square footage, 583. If you're interested in this houseboat floating on the water, contact the listing agent. All right, let's see. Can we find our last browse for today? All right, welcome back. We are going from a high rise to a floating on the houseboat on water to the dry land. We are going to 15 Fourth Avenue, Unit 702, Seattle, Washington, 98101. The seller is asking for $424,900. It is a one bedroom, one bath. Um, square footage is 954, and it says it's been on Zillow for 109 days. Let's see what is going on with this unit, which looks like it would be a, a, an apartment unit. As far as the outside, I like the, uh, the architecture. Corner lot. Reminds me of New York. Too far from Times Square. All right, let's look at the pictures. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is a ten-story building. Like it have shops underneath, but a great place to live. The view from the outside, seaboard building, front entrance, front lobby. Elevators, stairs, front counter. Okay, is this we're in the liver? I mean the unit already. If we are, it looks good. Like it's granite tops. Granite countertops. Lots of windows. I like it. Alright, I like this. I like this. Bar stews, it's your bar, cabinets, light fixtures, all around and about. It's your cabinets. There, there, looks good, guys. Shelving here. I like it. Air vents there. Heat, it, heat and air vents there. It's a gas range, living room area. Got enough of tables, couches, and chairs. Lots of windows. Like it. Really do. Laminate flooring. Like a hallway leading to the bedroom. Nice size. Love the width of it. Like that um, closet right there as well, too. Nice bedroom overall. Like it's high ceilings. Nice windows. Nice bathrooms, laundry and dryer. All right, we outside on the balcony terrace, looking over the city of Seattle, Washington. Beautiful. And I like it. The 1907, you have bike racks downstairs. Good to lock your stuff up. That used to be a bank downstairs at one time. I don't know what it's a picture of. Maybe a picture of the courtyard or something. West Lake Center. I like it overall. Nice. Nice um apartment unit. Let's see what's going on in the detail with it. Because it has been on Zillow for quite some time. It is a condominium built in 1909. HOA fees 1516 a month. High quality finishing, exclusive suites. Historic and iconic seaboard building. This barracks art style downtown landmark was crafted for a currently urban. Starting six stories above the city, these 24 timeless and exclusive suites really change hands. Remarkable, walkable, livable, and rentable. I like how they said that. The only downtown building to allow Airbnb short-term rentals. Number 702 is generously sized 
at almost a thousand square foot. Tall and voluminous with eight sun filled west facing windows, enduring high quality finishing throughout and gender and sense of accomplishment, secured entry. Blocks from world renowned Pike Place Market, Ben Roya Hall, Fifth Avenue Theater, grocery shopping, and multitude of amenities. Hey, we are going to wrap it up here. We saw some awesome properties on today. We went from the high rise to floating on water to dry land, and we ended here. Hey, awesome properties that we've seen today. And thank you for joining me on this episode. And I hope you will join me tomorrow. Yes, we will be doing this tomorrow. Y'all have a good evening. I'll let you go here. Grace and peace be unto you. Until next time, peace. Be blessed.